Hi, this is Heidi Box from Running With Scissors Stamper, and I'm going to show you how I created the pumpkin-shaped card. Um, I had uh, exported a jack-o'-lantern shape for my digital studio, and I'm going to import it here into uh, the Silhouette Studio software. Um, I'm going to open the folder where it is and pull down to see all files, and here I can see my jack-o'-lantern. What I had done was I had taken this jack-o'-lantern image and I expanded it as wide as I could in a four and a quarter by five and a half um, landscape card in my digital studio. So I'm not going to resize the pumpkin at all. I'm going to keep it the size that it's coming in from the export file. Um, and you can see as I'm clicked, as I have it clicked on here, um, the full image is four and a quarter by five and a half. So when I create a card base out of this, it's going to fit in a standard A2 envelope. So I have my image here and I'm going to come over to the right hand side and I'm going to open, I'm going to click on opening the trace window, which actually you can see is already open. I'll click on select trace area and I'm going to outline the pumpkin. And then all I want is to trace the outer edge of the pumpkin. Now you can see faintly that there is some red lines on the outside of the pumpkin. If I click on the pumpkin and I move it, you can see, yes, indeed, it did trace it. When you go to cut your images, you're going to want to get rid of this original pumpkin image because you don't want to cut that. You want to cut these guys over here. Okay, so let me zoom in a little so we can see what we're working on. The next thing I want to do, the pumpkin and the stem are all one trace. If I right click and release compound path, now they're going to be two different images. I want to edit my stem a little bit. So if I come to the left side, edit points side, and um, I come to the bottom of the stem and I pull down the points a little bit. What, the reason why I want to do this is, oops, let's do undo move. I want to extend my stem a little bit further below, um, below the card base so that when I cut my stem out of old olive cardstock, I'm going to be able to just glue it directly onto my card base. Oh, I'm just editing it just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be my stem. This is going to be the shape that I'll cut out, and I'll, I'll just apply glue at this area and put it right to the back of my card base, the inside of my card base. Okay, so let's move that guy out of the way. Now, keep in mind that I, I said that I, I don't change the size of anything. I'm going to keep it true, true to size. So here we have our pumpkin. Let's zoom out a bit. And we're going to move our pumpkin image down. Uh, click on the pumpkin, do edit copy and paste. And then um, with the copy selected, we're going to transform, flip vertically, and move, move it up above the other pumpkin. Now you don't want to do um, a rotate because the mirror image won't be exactly right. Um, you may have to, you're going to have to uh, rotate it a little bit and move it over. It's, at, it's at a little bit at an angle, so um, you have to move it over. I'm looking at these points here to try to line it up. And if I select both pumpkins and I look at this corner right here, um, I can see if it's lined up or not. It's not quite lined up yet. There. Now it looks like we're better, we're lined up better. Um, move the top pumpkin down just a little bit more. Now, if you select both the top and the bottom pumpkin, we want to get rid of these lines here, merge them so that we can make our card base and your card base won't be cut in half. So select both and then do object, modify, weld. You can see how that got rid of the cut lines here and that's going to make a nice card base for you. All right, so now to decorate 
the front of my pumpkin, all I did was I actually drew ovals. Um, over here on the left-hand side, there's, well, I guess they call them an eclipse. Draw an oval. I just kind of sized it. And it didn't have to be exact. I was okay with it not being exact. You know, rotate it a little bit if you need to. Just try to get it to fit in there pretty well, as, as good as you as you want it to be. Let's do another one over here. There's my three ovals. So I actually, once once I had these overlaid, I moved them out of the way. Try to keep them in order so we know which one is which. Okay. So this is the silhouette file that I saved. And as I went to go print these items out, I would you're going to want to delete the pumpkin anyway, but I would delete all the other items except for the one that I wanted to print. Um, and then I would come back and I would open my file again and do it all again except for the ones that I wanted to print. And that's how I went about creating my shaped card. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you give it a try. See you again soon. Please visit me at runningwscissorsstamper.blogspot.com.